Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your yearly 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. And also Aries, if you enjoy this reading, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to receive future notifications. I would greatly appreciate that. So your first card is turned over and we have the Ten of Wands for January. We have the Queen of Swords here, Aries, for February. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy for March. King of Wands can be you, male or female, for April. Seven of Pentacles. May, June, we have the Three of Pentacles, July, Page of Cups, August, Six of Wands, Six of Cups for September, October, we have a King of Pentacles, Male or female with the court cards. Gender really isn't important in a general reading. November, we have the hanged man. And, well, that's a nice energy to finish off on. We have the knight of pentacles in December. Okay, Aries. I mean, I really like the cards because you really don't have any difficult cards here too much we have a burden in january the ten of wands you know the ten of wands can be a burden is about to be lifted so it's always very positive from that point of view getting here might not have been easy but this is where you're reaching your destination aries in the sense that for a lot of you what you set out to do you accomplish and you can finally lift that burden that weight this can represent somebody who has worked very very hard who has whose energy is drained. Uh, they've had to put excess effort into a direction, but it can be successful in the sense that you get to your destination so you can release from all of that now. So it might well be for some of you that you can finally release from some kind of weight or burden that's been very exhausting and energy draining, but a feeling of, certainly if this is a successful release, it was all worth it. So that is lovely energy. Very good in terms of business, career, finances. Something may have been very draining, very exhausting process, but this can be about getting some kind of end result as well. The other message with this Aries is it can represent burdens of other kinds. It could be external burdens that you just have to deal with and it's been a process. This can represent burdens in a relationship and you have an opportunity to release from them in some way. Now that could be about the relationship itself. It could be about your work environment or the work that you do. It can represent in work, long working hours. And somebody who's like, okay, I need to relook at this because I can't keep on doing this the way I'm doing it. So it might well be something makes you make some kind of decision or choice on that basis to release from some kind of burden in January. This can also be a health issue too. So whichever area of life, the message is by your action, you get to release from that weight, the burden that has been exhausting and taxing and draining. So that's the energy with the 10 of wands. You get to put those wands down because you reach the end of a process, either by your hand or by things just, you know, uh, by reaching the destination that you set out to reach. We have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can bring news. So this can be somebody who might bring clarity to your situation. This can be in the form of advice. It can be friendly advice. It can be professional advice. So this person might be significant to you. Between these two energies as well, the Queen of Swords might be somebody who allows you, who might bring news that cuts cords with a burden, you know, because this Queen of Swords can bring down that sword and cut cords with things that, you know, need to be 
dealt with but also this person can be somebody who brings news that allows you to liberate from a situation so these two energies here might well be linked here Aries but not necessarily this can be somebody like I said who can be very good in terms of advice always with a view or communication always with a view to bring in balance back in your life now the Queen of Swords can be also somebody who sees the truth of a situation for what it is and is not afraid to cut cords with things that don't serve them so you might be adopting the energy of the Queen of Swords as well she can represent seeing the truth getting clarity making clear decisions and choices about your future and like I said communication coming in that may bring clarity to your situation as well so we have March the Knight of Wands this is so exciting because it's fire energy so if you look at these two months as well and it's like I said they're not always necessarily related but if if you have been waiting for change in money career for example here the Knight of Wands can represent a new opportunity coming in the Knights can bring offers so this night brings offers in terms of opportunity very exciting as well and it's exciting change this the feeling of this can make you feel oh thank goodness I can put whatever situation it was behind me and move on with this opportunity so certainly if you're ready for change in money career finances this night can just be that feeling of a new opportunity coming in and you're just like yeah I'm going for it I'm just putting whatever's gone behind me and I'm moving on that's the energy with the Knight of Wands it's really exciting and empowering it can represent as well Aries somebody coming in in terms of passion desire chemistry because there's a lot of passion with this night male or female so it can represent someone new that you're connecting to where there's a spark where there's chemistry where there's excitement where things are just buzzing you know uh, a lot of attraction with this energy as well certainly in terms of love romance so very exciting on that front this can represent if it's not to do with opportunity where you might be waiting for some green light to go things are moving things it's all systems go in whichever life area I mean this can be things like you know uh, like I said it can be to do with opportunity but it can be you know if you're buying a home it's all systems go you're getting the green light if you're uh, you're applying for an overseas visa it's all systems go all of a sudden if you've been dealing with a lot of bureaucracy up until this point all of a sudden things can shift and move forward very very fast so this can be go 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 it's a green light to go 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 so that can be this energy here Aries we have the king of wands in April I feel this is you this is showing you empowered now I like it for you in this particular month because March into April and the majority of April is Aries season so you're feeling empowered uh, this is you on your throne feeling pretty empowered this king is somebody who is empowered who is just feeling the fulfillment of their suit they have take action they have taken the lead they are the leader in their own life uh, they're very in instinctive they're not afraid to be courageous and take the lead and face things that need to be faced but this is somebody who is empowered as a result of doing all of that so you might feel very empowered in April this feels like you coming back to you you back on your throne in full power now it can represent with this night coming in with the wand it can represent you feeling empowered holding the wand so again some change in terms of potentially it could be money career finances for those of you it can represent feeling empowered feeling like you're fulfilled in maybe all areas of life again passion and desire and love uh, this is somebody who is just feeling very very at one with themselves and really 
if there's any need to take action in April, this is somebody who's not afraid to take action, to move in directions that they need to. But it feels like whatever situation you might be dealing with in April, you're coming at it from a position of power and a leader. So that's what I'm getting, a leader of your own life. That's what I'm getting here. You know, this can also represent leadership opportunities for some of you. So that might be relevant to her Aries, somebody who is a leader. So we have the seven of pentacles. So in May, we have somebody who is taking stock, evaluating. Now, seven of pentacles can be linked with your money. So it might well be that you're taking, st you might be taking stock of your savings. You might be thinking, actually, do I need to put more money into my pension? Do I need to save, save more? Or are my, my current investments working for me? If you want to retire, you might be looking and seeing if you have enough. This is the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. This, like I said, this can also be linked with investment. So do I want to invest in this particular area? Do I need to see the detail? Do I need to understand more facts? This is the message with the Seven of Pentacles. This can also be taking stock in other areas of your life. It can be money, career, finances in Korea. But this can also represent love, romance, relationships, taking stock, evaluating what you've put energy and time into and whether you want to continue on that path of putting more energy and time in or whether you want to make changes. So that's the seven of pentacles. It can even be about looking at options here with those seven of pentacles, you know, in front of this person. The other message with the seven of pentacles, if you have persevered on a path and you don't feel like you're getting the reward of your effort, it might well be further perseverance is needed because sometimes this can be a card of just keep on going. It can be a card of an indication of good things come to those who wait, who persevere. So that's the energy that I'm getting here, Aries. But like I said, it can be about you know, considering your options as well. So it might well be in May that there are things for you to consider and take stock of. It could be in different areas of life. And the message is, look at the value. Look at the potential. Is this something that you want to continue putting time and energy into or continuing investing in? Do you need to make some changes? That's the energy here. So we have the three of pentacles here, Aries. This is in June. So the three of pentacles, this is a lovely energy. You can see these three people, they're all collaborating together to build a solid foundation in a church. So, and you can see those pentacles are almost like the cornerstone of this archway. You know, the, the thing that is really supporting the whole structure, you know? So this can represent the beginnings of new success for some of you, very good in money, career, finances, but it can also represent on a collaboration or a project, or it could be an independent venture of some kind. Not limited to money, career, finances, it can be a hobby, but it might well be that you're collaborating in some way here. Now, this can also represent here, Aries, some compromise or negotiation. So that might be required of you in June. So this is really everybody meeting in the middle and coming together to make something work. So that's the energy here. Some compromise or negotiation. You could be negotiating an outcome. There may well be some compromise that you need to make. This is the energy here, but there's a feeling here when this card appears, it's all going to be worth it because everybody gets something out of it with the three of pentacles. You might not get everything that you want if it's a, if it's a compromise or negotiation, but everybody gets something out of it. And that's the energy with this. Now, the specific things that I get with this, you could be doing something practical with your hands like crafts. Um, you know, um, I mean, it's things like, you know, uh, off the top of my head, I want to say things like sculpting or, you know, designing jewellery or something. You could be getting something off the ground in that front, something that's 
craft orientated so might well be very specific for you but that's the energy that I'm getting this is also very good in terms of doing up a new home property developing interior designing yeah So Aries, we move into July, so the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups can represent, in love romance, it can be about flirtations. So somebody new could enter your life where there's flirtations going on and you've taken notice of them. This can be somebody who might be giving you a heartfelt message as well. Somebody who can be and that message can be an expression of love. It can also it can be love or support. It can also represent apologies, peace offerings. So the Page of Cups can represent that on that basis. This can represent a child as well. So it might well be a message from a child is significant for you in July. The other message that I have in other life areas with this is it can be about a happy surprising message so there may well be some level of the unexpected link with this message for July Aries but it's a lovely message if it is some kind of surprise or something unexpected it's really positive and uplifting for you so that's what I have and we move into August the six of wands fire energy again so the six of wands is somebody who is victorious so between these two energies, if these two were interlinked, if this was, you may have had a, a fallout with somebody or conflict with somebody or arguments or disagreements with somebody, this is the peace offering to say, can we move past this now and move on from that? These two energies may well be interlinked for that reason, but not limited to that. This is an energy here, Aries, of victory, of success, of a win. Very good in terms of promotions, very good in terms of significant achievements in other areas so it can be legal uh, can be contractual uh, it can also represent where you're getting recognized and noticed so you might be very visible uh, or very recognized or again catching people's attention in august that is the energy with the six of wands but it can represent victories of any kind. It's not limited to legal. It can represent if you have been, like I said, competing for something, this is you claiming your victory. And that could be in terms of money, career, finances. It could also be in terms of hobbies or sports of some kind. So it is a card of, of victory, success, promotions, winning. It's a very empowered energy, but it brings harmony back to a situation. And it represents that conflict or competition would have gone before this. So we have September, the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups can be where we come back to ourselves. For me as a reader, that can be where we jump for joy as children. So there may well be some reason to be like that in September. Because the Six of Cups can be just that feeling of delight and then there will be something happening in September that just gives you that feeling of delight and joy and happiness especially with that six of wands right next to it you know because it you know again whichever life area it is this can represent you know yeah two sixes next to each other harmony everything is harmonious everything is feeling you know you're feeling the equilibrium of life in that area whichever area this is so that's the energy here Aries now the six of cups can be somebody who is a soul connection to you so somebody who you have history with nostalgia with memories with this can be somebody who is important to you so it can represent somebody you might be reconnecting to from the past as well it can be in your current situation it can be from the past as well it's not limited to love either this can be somebody coming back from the past wanting to rekindle things in terms of love romance relationships but it can also be about the importance of family the importance of friendship or reconnecting to family reconnecting to friends of some kind the other area is that 
you might be reconnecting to a past place of work or you might be moving home you might be moving back near your family for example uh, roots of origin or a place that was special to you this is that six of cups energy there's happiness associated with it either way we have the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is somebody who might be significant to you in October. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, not limited to that either. This is somebody who is practical, resourceful, down to earth and the height of the suit of the pentacles. So very successful, very stable, very secure individual. Now that can be, if this is an energy here, Aries, of things are progressing in love, this can be a new level of stability, really putting down roots with this person. This can be the energy or even somebody even coming back from the past. This can be the energy here too with the Six of Cups right next to it, but not limited to connecting to the cards before. Like I said, a lot can happen in a month. The King of Pentacles can be somebody very good in business, can be an investor. Now, we talk about investors, bank managers, loans, mortgages, uh, a sum of money to start something. That is the king of pentacles. The It could be you're getting some kind of practical advice. Can be in terms of money, career, finances. That would be the energy of the king of pentacles. This can represent somebody who might be also a business angel. They may come on board with you to support some kind of venture or get some kind of investor on board. This is the king of pentacles, male or female. Similarly, the king of pentacles can also be somebody who holds a pentacle, so holds an opportunity for you. Very good in business, career, money areas. With the hanged man, it's interesting because we have these three energies here, Aries. So the hanged man can be somebody who is waiting, waiting for things to play out. So if this person, you, you meet them in October, things may well be come to some kind of standstill or even be put on hold. This will be the energy on getting some kind of sum of money or an offer or a contract. You know, the Knight of Pentacles can be an offer of, of a number of kinds. So this can be a new client, a new business win, new sales. You understand what I'm saying here. It, like I, it can also represent getting a sum of money and it could well be to start something or a cash injection or approval on a loan or mortgage. Like I said, this can be this kind of energy here and the hangman might well be where you're just waiting for things to play out. Now, the hangman energy, this is November. This can be where an area of your, you might feel still in November. You might be waiting for things to play out, like I said, in November. But it can just be where things have to be. The universe is just getting everything sorted out for you, everything lined up for you, getting the ducks in a row. That can be the energy of the hanged man. Sometimes we actually learn quite a lot when we're in periods of stillness. For example, you know, we can be in a period of stillness when we're waiting for, you know, a loan or a mortgage application. We can be in a period of stillness, you know, when there's changes in our employment, you know, and we're waiting for a new job. This can be the energy here. There's a feeling of just waiting. Similarly, it can be a health issue, you know, where it might well be there's a period of stillness because you or somebody close to you, you've, you've needed to put things on hold to deal with a particular issue. So, the hangman energy can come in a number of areas, but it's always some, it generally represents things have to be still so that you can really be directed in the way that the universe wants to move you forward. And that's the energy that I'm getting here quite strongly here, Aries. So that's what I'm getting here with the hanged man. Now, this can also represent looking at things from a different perspective and that can be quite significant. So 
it can be in terms of love romance, an opportunity to actually look at something from someone else's perspective or in a new light. Um, not always have the same perspective that you've always had, but be more open-minded. That is the hanged man energy. So whatever this hanged man is for you, that's what I'm getting here, Aries. You know, and I will also say, if there is a period of stillness, we do a lot with hanged man energy. This can be about getting wisdom and knowledge and insights. It might well be that a period of stillness sometimes allows us to see things that we haven't seen before, to see different routes that we've never seen, that we wouldn't have seen had we been upright. So like I said, this can be, and I'll, I'll use money career as an example, taking your skills, your experience, your knowledge, and putting them in a completely different area of life if you're wanting to change your business industry, wanting to change your job or start in a brand new industry or move into a different line within your current industry. This is the hanged man energy where you're open-minded or you're opening your mind to alternative pathways. That's what I'm getting here quite strongly. Because we do have, like I said, some kind of offer being made to you. The Knight of Pentacles can be about job offers, business opportunities, very good in terms of contracts, a sum of money coming your way as well. So again, this could be linked with the previous two months, but not limited to that. You know, this can come if you're wanting to make an offer as well. If you're wanting to purchase something, it could be an asset. It could be to put some money down on something. It could be to buy a home. So this can come in here, Aries, if you're wanting to make an offer as well. Yeah, this can link with things like, with the cards gone before as well, I was talking about career changes or making some changes in your career or even like second jobs, you know, things like that. This would be that kind of energy. If it's not a main job offer, this can be like, you know, maybe having something additional to what you're already doing. So that's what I have for you for your 2023 Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a lovely 2023 and I will see you next time.